Next is cascading style sheet CSS. CSS describes how HTML elements are to be displayed on screen, on paper, and etc. Cascading style sheets provide easy and effective alternatives to specify various attributes for the HTML tags. It controls the layout of multiple web pages all at once. So we can say that it saves a lot of work. We actually done in a HTML document. So using a CSS, you can specify a number of style properties for a given HTML element. Okay. So uh, we, if we use CSS, we use CSS in three ways in your HTML document. First one is external style sheet. Second one is internal style sheet. And the third one is inline style sheet. Okay. So let's discuss each of them one by one. Okay. So let's discuss internal cascading style sheet. So if you want to apply style sheet rule to a single document, um, then you can include those rules in header section of the HTML document using the style sheet. Okay, this is the header sections and this is the style tag. And in the sty style tag, you can uh, you know you can write uh, anything you want to apply on your text. This is not a content; it's just for the styling purpose. You are writing in between the header section and in the style tag, and the content you want to display is I'm writing on in between the header uh, tag paragraph tag and then another header tag and then another paragraph tag okay so the first styling I want to apply on in h1 so h1 is a selector I don't put closing or uh, opening bracket in between this h1 because h1 is just a selector uh, it shows that on h1 i want to apply with this styling okay so the i want background color should be yellow and the font size of this uh, content html lectures should be 300 percent okay so let's see uh, try to execute it and let's see okay first we have to save it and then run it Now see, on this H1 heading, uh, I'm writing the content HTML lectures and I applied this background color should be yellow and the font size should be 300%. So see, all the contents are writing in a simple way. I have not applied any uh, styling on this content, but for the uh, H1 heading tag, I'm using the styling, okay? So next is JavaScript lecture content and I want to apply some properties on uh, some styling on this content too. So I'm using I'm using this uh, paragraph tag and P as a selector. So uh, one more thing which is important is that uh, it doesn't matter I'm choosing this P as a selector or this P as a selector. Anything you applied on this P as a you know if if I'm using this P as a selector, automatically all the styling will, will apply on this P also, okay? It's not like uh, if you applied any styling on this H1, so it does not apply on this H6 heading, okay? But in the case of paragraph tag, it will apply on both of them, okay? So, uh, if P is a selector, if P is a selector, I'm using this property color and the value of this color property is red font size 150 and the font family is courier and the um, one more styling is border i want to write my the content in between the border okay in between the box and uh, i want that there should be a space between these two boxes between two borders so i'm using this padding okay so padding for border for the box and padding is the space between these two boxes okay so let's try to run it first save it and then run it now see javascript lectures are the uh, content which is written in between the paragraph tag 
and C language lectures is the content which is written in between the paragraph tag and just because of border this box will come and the color of this box is blue and uh, due to padding there is a gap between these two boxes okay so simple now next is inline style sheets so for inline style sheets you can apply style sheets rule directly to an any html element using style attributes of relevant tag okay so no need to write the style tag and uh, so write all the styling properties in between the header sections so in this you can apply the style sheet rule directly to any html element like this is the uh, paragraph tag is a html element and in this you can apply this styling so, so style is equal to uh, this is a property and the pro color of this property is blue and this is the content uh, the content in which you want to apply this styling and the next styling you want to apply is font size should be 100 pixels this, this is a new font size this is the content and the next one is color should be green and the font size is 100 pixel okay so this is the content so let's try to run it okay uh, run launch in chrome now see that's because of the uh, styling you applied on uh, paragraph p so this is a blue color you have apply the blue color now just because of font size now this is new font size it's come and uh, in the third one you apply the color and the font size so the color is green and the font size is bigger than the normal size okay so that's it now the next is external cascading style sheets so if you need to use your style sheets to various pages not only on one page on to various pages then it is always preferable or recommended to define a common style sheets in a separate file CSS file extension is .css it will be included in html file using this link tag okay the real attribute you are using in the link tag basically it's useful it basically you specify the relationship between the current document and the linked document so only used if href attribute is present so real only is used when href attribute is already present so all the search engines like chroma internet explorer can use this attribute real real to get more information about the link Okay, now this external uh, cascading style sheet. This is a uh, link real style sheet. R H H I H R E F uh, is equal to HTML style dot CSS. So basically, this example links uh, to a style sheet located in the same folder as the current page. Okay, so let's see. This is the content uh, in between the heading tag and in between the paragraph tag. So let's try to execute it. Run it uh, in Chrome. Now see the gate lectures, the UGC net lectures. So basically, it links the style sheets which is located in the same folder as the current page. Okay, so that's it.